Hey everyone, welcome. So today I'm talking about planner supplies that I use pretty often. I think that this list can vary from whoever you speak to. So I'm sharing you my supplies that I use almost on a day-to-day -day basis. And my list of things have basically changed over the past years as my planning style evolved. And this is what I've narrowed it down to. So the first thing on my list, um, things that I use often are washi tapes. I know there's a lot of shops in the planner community that have, that sells washi tapes and I buy them from pretty much almost, almost anyone. But the washi tape that I draw for the most and use the most are these. I got these from Amazon, especially this one right here it has like script writing on it. It's super cute, even though it's thick when I peel it I do cut it in half or thirds depending on the thickness I want and these colors just match my aesthetic and these are the softer colors that I like um, I do use other brands I have Simply Gilded I have Cookie Stick Cookie Sticker Co and um, I think those are the only brands that I have but these are what I go for the most and the colors when it comes to like using different colors i don't like a lot of bright bright colors i don't know what it is i just can't do it um the second thing is my tape runner so i use either this elmer's one because this was on sale in michael's or you can use the tombow and then there's also one on amazon that looks like this it's blue comes in like a four or five pack for like eight bucks but these are so um, important. This is especially good for like journaling. If you want to put something in your planner that does not have a sticker on the back of it, you can just use this and put it in your planner. Um, I do have, instead of bringing this with me sometimes, there's this thing called um, date dots. It's like the same thing, but they're little dots. I carry those in my like purse when I'm going out. Let me see if I can find some to show you what they look like. What did I say? Date dots? No, it's not date dots. It's glue dots. The <laughs> so date dots. They work the same, but with something like this, you can stick it in your planner and you can keep it with you at all times just in case you want to tap something in. So stop. You're not going out, Snoopy. The next thing is my correction tape. I use this a lot. Um, not that I want to hide the mistake, but sometimes if I'm pressed for space and I make a mistake, I need to write it out so that I can utilize the space to write something else. So this is the one from Staples. It's called Staples Oops. You can use whatever brand you want, but it's something that I've used pretty quite. Well, the next thing on items on my list is binder clips. So I have this one. I got this from a stationery store. I had two, I lost one, so I'm gonna go back and get one. It's a local stationery store. And then these are from Joann's. It looks like a clothespin. And these, I'm not sure where these are from, but I don't like these because it's really hard to open versus this one that opens wide and it's, and then this one can hold a lot. So binder clips is good to secure your planner down flat. I don't know if you'll have the problem if you're using like ring planner or disc bound, but if it's like a notebook or a traveler's notebook, something like that, the pages do kind of fluff up on each side. So to get like a nice flat surface, I recommend using one of these. So the next thing that I recommend, that not really recommend, I'm just sharing what I use most, are my Tombrow brush pens. So they're called Tombrow, they're Tombow, they're water-based and we all seen these everywhere. It has the brush tip and then it has like the pen tip on the opposite end. I really love these um, also because of the assortment of the colors and the light pink and light browns, the light greens are my favorite. But one thing I don't like about them is the length. It's really long and it's hard to fit in most pencil cases. So this is just something you have to think about if you plan on getting these. Um, I did buy like so many different packs when they were on sale and uh, I have this. These are my additional colors. 
So these are the rest of the colors. And then over here, those are my primary colors that I use all the time. So lots of colors for your own creativity. If you want to do like art journal in your planner or in an art journal, then those will be perfect for you. Um, next thing is my Tom Tombow. Why can't I say Tombow? This is my mechanical pencil. I love it because it's pink as well. It's like a pinkish purple and you have the, um, you get, you can buy the, the thingies to go in it to replace it when it's empty. Um, this was around eight bucks. It's from a local stationery store. I really love going to local stationery stores versus like Amazon because I just love being around all the stationery items. The one that I go to the most, um, there's this, not the most, but there's quite a few. There's Yoseka Stationery in Brooklyn. There's um, Goods for the Study. I think that's my favorite in the city. There's also Kinokunia. I think I said the name wrong. That's one as well. And then there's other one called Yours Truly, which is like right downtown Brooklyn. But there are so many different stores. I don't know if, where you live if they have the, those locally. Um, the next thing I use a lot is a ruler to draw my lines. I know um, a lot of people may freehand, but for me, I, re I like straight lines. I don't care if I'm going to call it a perfectionist or whatever. But my line, I want it to be straight, and that's and I'm sticking to it. Um, the next thing I use a lot daily is my Pilot G2.38 pen. I love this pen, and it's not the cutest looking because I really want a cute pen to put next to inside of my planner. But this, I'm, I walk around with this. I'm, I love this pen so much. It is not too inky and it's not too pointy. It's like the perf, it's the, the perfect in-between pen. I can't do anything thicker than 0.38, especially in the Stalogy. The Stalogy, um, you can if you want to, but me personally, it will have way too much shadowing on the opposite paper for me to even consider that. So, um, another thing that I use a lot is post-it notes, and I love white post-it notes. Not for nothing, I know there's a lot of people in the planner community that sell post-it notes, but I honestly need my post-it note to stick. So it's, I, I said it, I need my post-it note to stick. So I buy the post-it brand, post-it note, and if I wanna make a heading and keep like one on a particular page with certain things, I can um, print on it, put it in my printer. I have this template for post-it sticky notes I bought it from Etsy. You can search sticky notes template on Etsy. You just put your sticky note on the template and you feed it to your printer, however direction your printer works. So post-it notes, white, definitely. And I also have the black ones from when I want to get fancy and use my white pen. But post-it notes, super affordable and I buy them like all the time. So when I don't want to put things in my planner, I use a sticky note and I post it all over and then I toss it once I'm done. Um, I think we're down to the end, but the next thing that I use a lot, I'm not I'm not going to um, talk about stickers because that's a whole other video. I, I can go into stickers and I am going to talk about why I use stickers in my planner um, as an adult because I saw this comment on a video and... It was on it was a TikTok video and the girl was using her her planner stuff and a couple of people were, a couple of people were like, What's the point of the stickers? Like stickers, why are you using stickers? Like mind your business, that's what we want to use, and this is just it. So stickers, I'll be sh sharing a video about that. Um the last thing that I use a lot are my sticker pouches. Yes, to keep my stickers that I need to use. Hello? So I have two sizes. Both of these are from Simply Gilded. This is a smaller one and this is a larger one. So I need both because sometimes you have those small deco sheets that you can put in this one and then you have the larger um, sticker set, like the full boxes and everything goes into this. So I actually, I'm going to reorganize everything in here. I can't even show you what's in here because it's so out of place and everything. 
and these are the two things that I use the most for my stickers. There's other albums you can purchase. I know some people have like these square, but I just love these because they, um, I like the material and they're super soft. And I also have this in like a mint green. So these are the, the things that I use most, my most used planner supplies, very practical. And if you're looking to like start with your planner collection and accessories i think this is like a good starting point but as you develop and you change your planning style over the years you will realize that certain things that you used to use in the beginning you don't necessarily use it now like i used to like bow clips for my planner i used to put like little bows on top the paper clips and it doesn't really serve a purpose to me and every time I put my planner in my bag, it will just fall out. So I just kind of did away with it. If I'm taking a picture, I may or may not use it, but it's not something that I really want to use anymore. It's to me, I don't need that. But what I do use are these little paper clips that are dangly, that have these little dangly things here. I like this because these stick and they don't really fall off. My daughter just came and opened the door and all the noise is coming in. So that's, that's it these are my most used things i hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up please in the comment and share this video with um, anyone who you think needs to watch so thanks a lot and i'll see you next time take is done yay where's my slice